So, Manani, welcome back to Money Matters with me, Rosa. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video will be covering funeral covers versus life insurance. What the difference is, what the pros and cons are, and yeah, I will not be telling you which one to get because I am not a financial advisor in any way, shape, or form. I'm just a girl who knows a thing or two that wants you to know a thing or two as well. So, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with funeral covers or funeral policies. It is an insurance that provides financial support for your family to be able to cover, you know, the costs of a funeral. Simple, straightforward. So it will cover things like the coffin, the catering, the, the venue, I guess. Um, some even cover like repat repatriating a body and etc etc these are some of the benefits of having a funeral cover number one it helps cover the cost of a funeral because we know that funerals can get quite expensive um yeah especially if you have a lot of people that are coming over even during the week you know how we do it people are coming over to mourn with you and you need to feed those people um you need to feed people at the funeral you need to cover quite a lot of costs so the first benefit is that you might not have it Jay, lying around so that's the first benefit is that it helps you cover those costs number two is that it is easy to get you can literally sign up for a funeral cover in two seconds it's so easy to obtain it doesn't really require as many things as other types of insurance literally the easiest I think in my opinion to obtain i mean i've never obtained one but i've worked for a company that offered one so i know that it is easy peasy lemon squeezy number three it is affordable okay usually you can get under 100 rand a month you can get a pretty okay funeral cover especially if you're just covering yourself and you're not covering dependents or family members etc etc you can literally get an insurance for uh, funeral cover just for you for under 100 grand obviously it also depends on the payout um yeah and who you're covering you get me so it's quite affordable and like everything in this world nothing is just good there are also some cons to having a funeral cover number one is that the funeral policy might be limited to you know certain aspects of the funeral and not others maybe they won't provide transport but they'll cover the food or they won't cover the food they'll provide transport those are things that are usually set out so when you are picking your funeral policy they'll tell you the things that they do cover in a funeral or sometimes they have like a limit to how much you can spend on maybe they'll give you five thousand rand for food two thousand rand for transport stuff like that number two is that sometimes there is a waiting period between when you sign up and when you actually start getting covered so if you die in this period in the waiting period you will not be covered and that is a con because if something does happen in that time it will put a lot of financial strain on your family if they don't have the money number three is things like inflation if i got a funeral cover right now that covers twenty thousand rand for a funeral in 50 years or whatever when i die the twenty thousand rand will not hold the same value so those are some of the things that you need to look at maybe you need to increase it upgrade um after a certain amount of time because the inflation goes up but the amount that you said they're gonna cover might just be the same amount before is that there may be some restrictions on the type of death that they cover um i know certain funeral policies don't cover like suicide for example but again things that you will know beforehand um some maybe don't cover yeah basic it's usually suicides that are not covered so they'll cover like your car accidents you know just dying in your sleep yeah um others don't cover you know death relating to like a pre-existing condition so if you have a heart condition um and you die because of the heart condition they will not cover that because it was already there before you signed up for the uh, funeral policy so now we go on to life insurance what is life insurance life insurance is an insurance that provides financial support to your family after you have passed on um there's different options maybe they can cover the education of your children or just providing like monthly monthly income for your family um there's different setups for it so that is what a life insurance 
life insurance is and the difference between life insurance and a funeral cover is that life insurance is to help your family after like with income after you have died and not just for the funeral whereas a funeral policy is just for the funeral so here are some of the benefits of having a life insurance number one of course is the financial support that it will give your family in the event that you die so your family will be able to you know cover living expenses they'd be able to cover maybe some of the funeral costs they'd be able to you know it will also cover like your debts if that's the case a lot of the time if you get a, a loan or um yeah some kind of loan usually they require that you take out life insurance even if it's like a small loan you'll get a life insurance along with it unless you have your own um in the event that you do die then the life insurance can pay you out number two benefits is that, is that it provides tax benefits that means that the premiums are usually tax deductible you can deduct it from your tax and the payout is usually tax free um to be quite honest i'm not sure of the if there are any limitations with regards to that but that is something that i can look into and maybe do another video and like i said nothing is all good in this life the cons of having a life of having life insurance are as follows they can get quite expensive okay especially if you are someone with pre-existing conditions or you have some kind of chronic illnesses um those things in increase your life insurance if you're someone who lives an adventurous life as well those are things that can make your life insurance even more expensive so it can get quite pricey number two is that it also limits there is a limit to when they will pay out and when they weren't they're not gonna pay out so um again they might limit like suicide or you know planned like a planned death might not be covered or if you are someone who I don't know you jump off the roof for a living those things you know limit the, the the cover in the event that you do that if you do that because you jumped off the roof for your job and that's that that they might not cover that so there are some limitations to what they do and do not cover if you die because otherwise there'd be a lot of fraud okay so they also need to watch that a bit Number three is that the structure can be quite complex um so like trying to find the right one for you because it's really dependent on each and every person like so that might make it a little bit more difficult which is why it's advised that you find a financial advisor to help you through it to help you and explain to you um the elements of the insurance policy and because there might be some investigations, you know, some confirmations of if it is real, um, if it's for a legitimate reason, etc., etc., there might be a, a delay in the payouts. So uh, usually, it's not advised that you have a, a life insurance policy that's going to cover funeral costs because it might take a lot longer for them to pay out a couple of months, maybe even years, if something is looking dodgy. Okay. So obviously the difference between these two is that the funeral policy is strictly for funerals. It will be money will be received just for the funeral, whereas life insurance policy can provide money for your, you know, especially for your family members in the event that you die. So if you are someone who's looking at either one and not really sure, you need to consider what your needs are. If, for example, you are a breadwinner at home, um, taking out a life, a life insurance policy is advised because in the event of your death, your family still needs to be able to live and continue on. But also, you don't want to put a burden on them financially well, um, on the day of the funeral where they can't pay for certain things or, you know, they're getting into debt now to pay for your funeral. So it really is dependent on what your needs are, what your family's needs are. And those are things that you can consider when you are trying to decide between the two. I do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment, subscribe. And yes, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask them down below. And I will do my best to get back to you. Okay, sometimes I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, please. Yes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video.